Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And today Apple has released a new beta firmware and no, not iOS 10 beta 2, even though the first beta was seeded over two weeks ago. Uh -uh, we're talking about iOS 9.3.3 beta 4. Now, this is actually going to be kind of an interesting video because I'm going to have a poll down below in the comment section that I want you guys to vote on. Thumbs up if you're waiting for a brand new jailbreak utility though. So yeah, when you log into Apple's dev portal and you locate 9.3.3 beta 4, you'll notice that it has a revised build number of 13G33. Now, as for iOS 9.3.3's changes, guess what? As with the previous three betas, there are absolutely no outward facing changes that affect the end user. So either you guys or myself, instead iOS 9.3.3 is focused merely on stability improvements. So getting everything nailed down for iOS 9.3.3 to hopefully be one of the last iOS 9 updates before focusing solely on iOS 10 and allocating all of their development resources to iOS 10, as I've been saying for a while now. So at this point, considering 9.3.3's rather lackluster changelog, I think there are really two options. And I want you guys to vote on which one you think is actually the case down below in the comment section. I will have two comments posted there. Just be sure to rate up whichever one you're in favor of. First up, we have that Apple is purposefully delaying the release of the next untethered jailbreak utilities by just slamming us with new iOS 9.3.x updates and betas. That one's probably going to be the most common because it seems the most likely. It seems like Apple is delaying the jailbreak intentionally. I mean, we've always known that jailbreak developers like to wait for beta firmwares, if at all possible, to come out of beta before releasing a new jailbreak utility. Because guess what? It takes them hundreds of hours and they're doing it completely for free. They're releasing free jailbreak utilities and they don't want their work to be wasted, so to speak, because if a firmware is in beta, Apple can more quickly patch and close the exploits utilized in a jailbreak utility than if they just wait until there isn't a beta, because of course then any new changes Apple would like want to test, seeing as how Apple puts all of their firmware releases these days through a number of beta tests. So option number two would be this has absolutely nothing to do with delaying the jailbreak and that Apple is just focused on improving the performance of iOS 9.3.x. They want it to be the last iOS 9 update unless either A, a jailbreak is released for iOS 9.3.3, then of course they would issue something like iOS 9.3.4 solely to patch the jailbreak, or B, if there are more bugs even after iOS 9.3.3 drops. And at that point, I mean, come on, it would be so embarrassing for Apple if after three iOS 9.3.x updates, not including iOS 9.3 itself, and the plethora of betas that have ensued, there are still bugs. I mean, at that point, we can almost guarantee that iOS 10 will be horrible out of the gate. But at any rate, that's the second option that Apple is just solely focused on performance enhancements in iOS 9.3.x and they want to just focus on iOS 10 after 9.3.3 drops. So of course they want to put it through its paces, hence the number of betas. At this point we're at beta 4 and we don't know when iOS 9.3.3 will be released to the public. Initially we weren't expecting over two betas, now here we are with beta 4. So we don't know when it's going to be released and of course this comes just after iOS 9.3.3 beta 3 was released last week. So the only thing that we know as far as release time frame is concerned is that the betas are starting to speed up because of course the previous beta was seeded two weeks after its predecessor. So which one do you think is more likely? Let me know down below in the comments section. And are you looking forward to MOSEC or the mobile security conference that Pangu is going to hold at which they may very well demonstrate a new untethered iOS 9.3.x jailbreak really anything could be at play there. Again, let me know your thoughts and of course click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. I'm going to keep you guys completely updated whether it's concerning MOSAC and any possible jailbreak developments to come from that conference or something else entirely. Again, I will let you guys know the second anything is available in the world of jailbreaking, whether it be news or a new utility. Also, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.